Greetings and welcome to yet another rocket related unboxing video. I'm James Duffy and I'll be your host for this little examination of the latest release from Estes, a reinterpretation of the venerable Dured Max kit from the early 1970s. The Estes Dured Max kit first appeared as part of the Estes Citation line in 1971. The Citation line was apparently an attempt to get more model rocket products onto the shelves of mass market retailers. All of the products were boxed rather than bagged as a concession to the needs of stores like Sears, JCPenney, and the like. There were five kits in the line, as well as a starter set that included a chrome-plated version of the Estes Porta Pad. Unlike other Estes kits, the box Citation kits came complete with a couple of motors, igniters, and recovery wadding, and the motors were intriguingly marked with simplified motor codes. There was even a spiffy catalog issued for the Citation products, and you can see that document today on the ninfinger.org website. I confess to some nostalgia for the subject, as one of my first rocket kits as a kid was a boxed Red Max. The Citation line was gone by 1973, but the kits were folded into the main Estes product line as traditional bag kits aimed at the hobby shop market. We can speculate that a major inspiration for the original Red Max may have been a monogram model car of the era, the Red Baron. The Red Baron kit was designed by a show car designer named Tom Daniel and the model was a huge hit for Monogram. The company eventually ordered a running, full-size version from Daniel a couple of years later for display at trade shows. In a bit of foreshadowing for what would eventually happen with the Estes Red Max line, the Red Baron model kit was released in a special, upsized 1 12th scale version in addition to the original 1 24th scale model. It was even offered in a mini-sized Hot Wheels version. Let's get back to our vintage Red Max. It was a mainstay of the Estes lineup and the company offered the kit until 1987. There was even a special stretched version of the kit offered in a starter set for a couple of years, essentially the same kit with a longer airframe tube. In 2007, the kit was re-released and was joined by a smaller cousin in 2010, the Mini Max, designed to fly on 13 millimeter mini motors. 2012 saw the release of the Mega Dur Red Max, a supersized version of the model designed around a four inch diameter airframe tube standing almost a meter tall. There was a catch though, as Estes did not manufacture a motor powerful enough to fly such a large rocket. Instead, they offered relabeled composite motors sourced from Aerotech, an arrangement that reportedly was a bit on the awkward side. After a couple of years, the Mega Dur Red Max kit faded from view. However, serious rocket hobbyists and collectors began to clamor for the return of the rocket, with examples of the kit trading for wildly inflated prices. Clearly, there was a demand for a larger Der Red Max kit. The new Der Big Red Max kit seems to be an effort to meet that demand while reimagining the rocket to fly on genuine Estes motors rather than third-party alternatives. Calling back to the Citation line heritage of the original release, the new kit is boxed rather than bagged. Opening the box, we find a beefy 3-inch diameter airframe tube. Slots for fin installation have already been cut. If you've built the recent doorknob kit from Estes, the thickness and quality of the tube seem identical. The nose cone is all new with the profile based on the original Red Max shape and it has an integrated attachment point for your recovery system. Digging deeper into the box, we find a short section of 29 millimeter motor mount tube. A flat plastic bag contains the assembly instructions. These are just the standard Estes instructions we've come to know from recent years. There are three laser cut fin sheets. Each fin sheet contains parts for a single fin broken up into three sections.
You'll need to edge glue these three pieces into a single unit. The balsa itself is 1 8 inch thick, and unlike the 2012 Mega Kit, there's no need to laminate fin parts around a plywood core. The centering rings are laser cut from thick cardstock, very similar to the material used on the recent Saturn V and Skylab releases. Once it's assembled and interlocked with the through the wall fin tabs, it'll be plenty strong for the recommended motors. If you're the type that wants to overpower your models with H&I motors, you might want to replace the centering rings with aftermarket plywood rings. Unlike earlier versions of the Red Max, the decals are now the self-stick vinyl variety, pre-cut to size around the periphery of each marking. I'm pretty sure that this choice will get the purists fired up, but the reality is that water slide decals this large can be very tricky to apply, especially for less experienced builders. My gut feel is that the decision to go with self-adhesive vinyl has a great deal to do with the desire to see more modelers have a successful building experience, especially younger builders. We'll talk more about decal alternatives in a bit. There are a couple of accessory bags also included in the kit. The smaller of the two contains a fiber ring designed to sleeve around the 29 millimeter motor mount tube, along with a couple of one quarter inch launch lugs. The second accessory bag contains a screw-on motor retainer, a rubber shock cord, clay nose weight, shroud lines, and a really cool plastic printed skull and crossbones parachute. The parachute is about 18 inches in diameter and is produced from a much thicker plastic than any previous recovery system I've seen from Estes. Looking closer at the shroud line bag, it appears that some heavy duty shroud line attachment lugs are provided. Estes may fade some heat for failing to provide a nylon parachute, but frankly, I've got plenty on hand already, and I kinda like the vibe of the printed plastic chute. So that's the new Der Big Red Max kit from Estes. What's my plan for the two copies that I ordered? When the four inch kit was issued several years ago, I used one as a basis for a very fun model that I called Der Bumper Max. It's a two-staged reimagining of the Red Max painted to look like the historic V2-based bumper whack flown at White Sands in Cape Canaveral. I love flying my Der Bumper Max, but it's kind of expensive to fly on G80 motors. I'm looking forward to flying these on relatively inexpensive black powder E and F motors. So my plan is to build a pair of D-Day inspired models based on the Big Red Max. One will be painted like a P-51 fighter with an aluminum base coat and lots of color. The other will be two-staged with the booster painted to look like a C-47 glider tug. It'll stage to a scratch-built 75% downscale of the original Red Max kit painted in the colors of a CG-4A assault glider. The nose cone for that project has been swiped from a BT-55 Goblin kit that I had stashed for kit bashing. All three of these Red Max reinterpretations will feature invasion stripes and markings purchased from Cali Graphics, a cut vinyl manufacturer specializing in the radio control aircraft market. I've already got the nose cone from one of the new kits cut and slotted for the second stage. Based on past history, I suspect that very, very few longtime hobbyists will be building their Red Max kit stock, and that's great. Perhaps no series of Estes kits have been the subject of more reinterpretation and hot rotting than the Red Max series. A quick look at the Sticker Shock 23 website shows that they offer at least 20 different decal alternatives and I'm sure that this generation of the kit will inspire many more. Further, the new nose cone profile included with the Big Red Max will certainly lead to a renaissance in kit cloning with upscaled interpretations of the Patriot, Omega, Goblin, and more sure to appear. Perhaps Estes themselves will even kit some of these oldies in new upscaled kit versions. So I give the new Der Big Red Max a hearty thumbs up. Congratulations to Estes for producing such a fun looking kit 
That's sure to be a hoot to build and fly. And thanks to you for watching.